Hi, my name is Amir Tatayevi, an assistant professor of biomedical engineering. And in this series, we talk about physiological systems in biomedical engineering. Today, we want to talk about Lintessal model, a way to simulate blood flow behavior inside our vessel network. We know that there are two main types of vessels in our cardiovascular system, arteries and veins. And there is another type of vessels that connect the arteries to the veins, and they are called capillary veins. Before we talk more about wind Kessel model and how we can use them in order to simulate blood flow behavior inside our vessel network, let's take a look at some of the important features and characteristics of our vessels. If we start from aorta, the largest artery in our body, we know that during systole or the systolic phase, the arterial wall expands and therefore they store a larger amount of blood volume in them. And then they relax and they push that blood volume into the downstream arteries. And this is due to uh, the elasticity of arterial walls. If we look at an electrical circuit, we can say that this behavior is very similar to what a capacitor does in an electrical circuit. We call this phenomenon arterial compliance. Now, after the blood is pushed to downstream arteries and downstream uh, vessel network, we see that the cross-sectional area in the downstream arteries, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. In addition to having a decrease in the cross-sectional area, we know that there is friction between different layers of blood flow as well as the uh, layer of blood flow that is adjacent to the arterial wall. These different factors contribute to a resistance that is called peripheral resistance. And again, that is very similar to what a resistor does in an electrical circuit. Now, let's take a look at heart which is the main pump in our cardiovascular system. If you want to find a, an electrical component that, does a simil that has a similar function in an electrical circuit to our heart, that wouldn't be anything except a voltage source. So a voltage source in an electrical circuit would be a good example of what our heart does in the cardiovascular system. Now, if we just draw an electrical circuit with a voltage source and then include a capacitor and a resistor, then in this electrical circuit, the electrical current would be similar to blood flow that we have in our cardiovascular system. And the voltage difference between any two points in this electrical circuit is similar to blood pressure. And blood pressure difference between any two points in our vessel network. This electrical circuit is called a Wilkesel model. And we can use this model in order to simulate blood flow behavior inside our cardiovascular system. But note that this is uh, uh, an electrical circuit that consists of two main parts, a capacitor and resistor, which is similar to our vessel network whole body, what they do in our body, and then a voltage source, which is similar to what our heart does in our cardiovascular system. So this electrical circuit consisting of these uh, elements, especially the capacitor and resistor, uh, this is the simplest wind kessel model that we can build. It is 
called a two-element Winkelsel model. There are more complex Winkelsel models uh, consisting of three elements and four elements, and also there are different ways to uh, simulate the behavior of blood flow inside our vessel network using multiple Winkelsel models. For example, one Winkelsel model for every organs that we have in our body, the vessels that we have, for example, in liver or in kidney or in our head. Uh, and therefore, there are more complex Winkelsel models to work with. In the next video, we talk about how we can use these Winkelsel models to estimate blood flow and blood pressure inside our vessel network. Until then,